All right, today we're starting off our journey a little bit different. We're actually starting and taking a look around here in San Jose, very close to Florinopolis, but on continent. Has a city feel, has its own vibe. Let's just take a look right quick. And this park in particular always has something going on, whether it's people showing off their cars, working out, or doing some serious athletic training. But there's also cookouts, concerts, and all the activities I've seen here have been completely free. And for those of us that like to run, jog, or walk, besides the track, they also have a mile and a half long boardwalk. And as you can see, they have a pretty nice skate park which is open to beginners or those who are really advanced. Although San Jose is not as well known as Florinopolis, it has its own British charm as well. It's not a vacation destination, but more of a working town while still having a livable pace of life. So if you're in the area and you want to take a break from the tourist vibes and maybe even tourist prices, you could come and check out San Jose. From Florinopolis, it's quick and easy to get to, and it has a different look. Here in the South Bay or Bahia Sur, the water is not suitable for swimming, but visually, it still has a calming effect. So let's start today's journey as we leave from San Jose and head over to Florinopolis towards Mole Beach. So we're we're in the Uber and right now we're in San San Jose. San Jose. It's just across the bridge. If you look on a map of where Florinopolis is, as soon as you cross over, that first bit of mainland is San Jose. So we're here right now. Um, on a Sunday, it's kind of empty. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get this travel thing going. A lot of people out doing too much, but it definitely has a city feel. If you were here, you wouldn't know that you are by some of the best beaches in the world. Um, but things are relatively cheaper here than actually on the island of Florinopolis as far as uh, as far as habitation, hotels, and stuff like that. So I figure I'd come check them out. You know, check out the area here. Some parts of it are a little bit run down, but you'd be surprised. There's parts of it that they do stand out. And like I said, it's not that far of a ride. We can be in central Florinopolis in about 10 minutes. So that's pretty convenient if you take into account uh, if you find a good hotel and a good price and all that. So. about San Jose is it's relatively close to the island. So now we're crossing the Florinopolis Bridge. There's two bridges here. I think this is the, this is definitely the one that's just for traffic. The other one that's over there has some traffic and foot traffic. There are two bridges that connect the mainland and the island. On Sundays, this northern bridge is totally dedicated to pedestrians, while this southern bridge is dedicated to vehicle traffic. Main, the main side of it, the main side of the city, 
it's um it's kind of like the more local feeling beach area of Florinopolis but it's still pretty decent we've come out here we did a hike we hiked one of the um the major trails on this side of the island last week I think and we started at one place, it, was, it felt different, it felt like we were out in the sticks a little bit, and then when we finished, about five hours later, we ended up at a spot, a local beach, and that beach, actually, I wouldn't mind going there today, but today we're going to Mole, but it was a very, uh, very active beach, a lot of stuff going on, uh, people out doing everything, volleyball, soccer, you know, all that on the beach, young people out there having fun, so it was a good time. I think it's still only about 10 minutes away from Lagoa, so we're headed through now. You check out the scenery, you see all the, the stuff there. Let's look at it on a map. We'll take a look at it on Google Map just to see what we got going on, exactly where we are. And uh, I don't know if you can see us right there. traffic at certain times of the week during the day uh, weekdays uh, rush hour traffic just because everybody's taking these few routes so they are beautiful don't get me wrong uh, you see a lot of especially on the days like today it's just a good day even just to ride around the island i'm not sure if you took the quickest way or not i ain't mad though see all this. We got guys up there parachuting. I don't know if you can see that guy up there parachuting. You can see I can get a little dangerous some of this stuff too, but you know, you got people out doing their thing, taking their photos. You see a lot of that out here. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, beautiful women out here and beautiful scenery. They're doing their thing. It's a, it's a good place to come. Just know if you're trying to get around the island at certain parts of the day during the week. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because of that, you know. Um, but other than that, loving it, loving it here. Okay, and then we're, we're catching some of the traffic right now. Our last bit of this, this ride is going to have some traffic. Uh, yeah, we can see it here on the map, actually. We're going to get a little bit of that. It's a Sunday, everybody's trying to go to the same beaches. Uh, Mola Beach is pretty popular, so yeah, we anticipate a little bit of this. But we should still be there in the next couple minutes, but yeah, it's nice out there. get into Salinas and then get down there they got a back access to the lagoon and uh, from there probably fly the drone out this way we'll see we'll see what we can do this time of the day it takes a long time to get across on the uh, the beach but you know you got restaurants and everything there um, Asahi places which are always cool stuff like that but yeah sometimes it's cool you know yeah, you see people walking around, you see the the whole bay and everything out here, and it's uh it's just a good time to see, you know, take your time, just take a load off, you're in an Uber. Just, just enjoy the scene, you know? Yeah, you got this is one of the activities here, right on the, the lagoon. People 
people out there having dinner from the restaurants. We got live music out there. People seem to be enjoying it. Looks like a good time. Might come back out here. We'll see what's up. Oh yeah, and the food does smell good, yeah. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Yeah, look. All the, the family activities out there. We haven't properly filmed this side of the lagoon yet, so maybe maybe that's something we should do today. But if not, there's other places to see around the island, so we're definitely gonna show you something. Regardless, it's Sunday. People are out enjoying it. Beautiful scene out here. No country and can't stand for my That's a bar we need to go to at night, he's saying. Bar do Borne. Yeah. Bonch. Bonch. And uh, one of my friends, she actually told me about that too. So uh, it's been a minute. I, she gave me a long list of places to hit. I haven't hit even half of them yet, so. Okay. So I think if we don't stay at Playa Mole, what we're gonna have to do is probably go north just because of this traffic you see heading the other direction right now. It's not uh it's not a good look. You see what I'm saying? So we'll head up to Playa Mole once we get up here. Actually it's right beside uh Selena. Playa Mole, push the Playa da Galeta. Okay. Okay, so we made it out here to Playa Mole. We're going to, the word I got is that the waves on the beach right now are really strong. So it's not the best place to try to get in the water today. Not the best beach today to, to try to go for a swim, but I think the rest, oh yeah, I see the waves. You see the waves crashing heavy right now. But I wonder if they're really up on the beach like that. We can always get the drone up and, and take a closer look or take a look from a safe distance. Let me see what's going on. Oh, 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 where we going? Sorry. <laughs> Got a little mix up, a little with the bike. Always traffic around the island on the, the more popular beaches on the weekend. I think there's a restaurant down here. I think it's down here. I think that's what she told me it was at. So we'll head down and see. But it doesn't look like much down here. Kind of figured out where we're going. Um, so we're gonna walk down this way. Funny thing is like the restaurants, a lot of restaurants out here actually very close to the beach. So you walk through this little parking lot areas and you get down there. Um, yeah, so this this is good information. Like, you know, you come out to these beaches like Playa Mole, Playa Mole, and you gotta, you gotta go through a little bit of this and there's different entry points along the way. But you got, you know, they, they look like this maybe. And you come down through a parking lot you can walk through but you can also skirt and go through some of the other ones and, and slide in at different points so just something something to be aware of how it works a little bit and beyond this point no motorcycles nothing with a motor no, no not even bikes get that little sign there no no bicicletas all right let's go over here and uh so yeah, this is, okay, that's a sign right there for what section of the beach this is, I guess. I think I've been here before. Definitely, I think the first time I came out here was this area. 
Yep, it was. So I know exactly where I'm going now. All right. Show you when we get there. Yeah. All right, so we made it here and uh, yeah, nice little restaurants and everything here. And it's, it's pretty cool. You're right by the beach. You got big waves today. And uh, that's what we're doing. Made it to this part of video i really appreciate it and i hope you've been enjoying all my recent content from brazil if you are let me know in the comment section just in case you forgot hit that like button and as always thanks for watching